everyone, my name is Kathy Kosak and I work in the kitchen at Headlands Center for the Arts. Headlands is an artist residency program just north of San Francisco over the Golden Gate Bridge. Um, and I get to cook for the artists and residents who get to stay on site and have studio space and get to eat our food. Um, today I'm going to walk you through a dish that I really love to cook there. Um, it's called Tomka. It's a Thai soup that is a little sweet, a little sour, and um, savory. Um, it really comes together super fast, and I was able to find most of the ingredients um, at my corner store and a few sh shelf stable products that I had on hand. Um, so let's go ahead and get making the soup. Um, the first thing that you're gonna need is two cups of broth, which I have here. Um, I'm going to be keeping this soup vegetarian, but it's also great with chicken or um, any other type of broth or stock that you have on hand. So in here I have about two cups um, of broth. And other ingredients that you need to have on hand, and all of the recipe is going to be on our website if you want to check back and um, see what those um, ingredients are. Um, you're going to want something spicy. I'm going to choose sriracha that I have in the fridge. Um, soy sauce, or if you have it and you eat fish, um, fish, uh, fish sauce, which is delicious and tasty and great in Thai cooking. A can of diced tomatoes and a can of coconut milk. Other things are cilantro, green onions, um, and this is a perfect dish to use up those veggies that you've just been having in the fridge and they need a place to go. Um, I have some bok choy in here that I found in the fridge and also some mizuna that is uh, leftovers from the, um, a CSA box that I got um, a bit ago. Um, as well, um, you could put a protein in there because I'm keeping it vegetarian. I chose some tofu. Um, if I was making this with chicken, this would be a perfect place for like leftover um, roast chicken that you have or like a rotisserie chicken that you got from your um, grocery store. You can just um, pick apart the leftover meat that you have to throw into your soup. Um, other things that you should have is a little bit of sugar. Um, I have brown sugar, but like really anything sweet will do if you have honey or maple syrup or white sugar. And a little bit of miso, I like to put in my ve vegetarian version of this. Um, other two ingredients that I like to put in the soup um, are lemongrass and kefir lime leaves, but my corner store didn't have any. Um, so instead, I'm going to use, at the end, a little peel, um, some peel of one Meyer lemon. Um, this is to replace those two ingredients. And as well, what you'll want is some ginger, um, mushrooms, lemon, a fresh lemon, and shallot. So the first thing that you're going to do is bring your uh, broth up to a boil and then you're going to put in your tomatoes and coconut milk. Then we'll put in our ginger mushrooms, and shallots. Give it a stir to make those all come together. Next is we'll put our sugar in. soy sauce. One tablespoon. And whatever you have that's spicy. Um, if you didn't have sriracha, maybe you have a different hot sauce in your fridge, or maybe you have some red pepper flakes. Um, whatever you have on hand that's a little spicy. Or even a fresh um, like chili pepper, like a jalapeno or something like that would be really nice in this. So now that I got all of those in there and it's to a boil, I am going to add 
my um, veggies. And I'm also going to turn this down a bit since it's now boiling. And then the tofu. And because I'm doing this soup vegetarian, I'm going to add a little bit of miso um, to give it a little bit more depth and savoriness. And a trick that I like to do when it comes to adding miso to a soup is I take a mug that preferably has a handle and just like scoop up a little bit of that liquid that's in there. And then throw your so in there and you just want to stir it up so the miso kind of liquefies because if you just threw a chunk of miso in there right now it might just get stuck at the bottom and then you might get a big clump of miso while you're eating which would be really salty put it in here, something that's a little sweet, a little sour, a little savory. Mm. Um, oh, and don't forget your lemon. So I have, I happen to have Meyer lemon on hand. I really love to put lime in here, but I don't have any lime, so Meyer lemon will be just fine. And there you have it, some Tomka soup that came together super fast. Um, to get the full recipe in details, go to our website, headlands.org. Um, and thanks for watching. Um, hope everyone is well and keep on cooking.